Thank you for joining me in this video about being intentional, the series of videos named after a book I've written by the same name, which show you in a step-by-step -step way how to lead a more intentional, more richly rewarding life. Today's subject is everybody's favorite, procrastination. And typically, I've been putting off to putting this video together because I wasn't 100% sure how to tackle a massive issue in a very short frame of time, which gives you a little bit of an in of how the problem is created and then how we come up against the solution. I'm going to give you a 30,000 foot view so we can all understand the scope of the problem. And this is what usually happens. We have a project which we need to complete by a particular deadline. We have something, a presentation, perhaps a book, an article, a study, uh, an analysis report or whatever it is that we actually have to do. We're usually given ample warning and we squander it thinking about it, sure, but doing nothing to actually move us forward until we come up against the deadline. And the moment we come up against the deadline, like the day before, a couple of days before, we burn the midnight oil, we work flat out and we produce some arguably amazing work, which makes everything make sense. And afterwards, we can't understand why we couldn't have done it a little bit earlier. Now, this is what has happened here. Essentially, we don't feel confident in our ability to actually deal with the perceived magnitude of the difficulty of the problem that we are facing or the challenge that we are facing. And it is always about perception. Our brain has the ability to magnify things which we haven't dealt with so that the problem which we face appears huge to us from a distance. And then we are reluctant to tackle it because we think, oh, you know, I'm not sure, I shouldn't have taken it on. You know, this little subversive, sabotaging dialogue that happens in our head where basically we are aware of our own deficiencies and they magnify in our mind and they completely undermine our ability to get things done. So how do we deal constructively with procrastination? Well, this is what I found and I've applied it for this video actually because you know I've been thinking about this video for weeks now and I hadn't done it and then I asked myself why I hadn't done it and really it's not that I don't know the subject, I do, it's not that I don't have a solution, I also have that, but I wasn't sure that I could actually make it work in a short video. And then I sat down and planned it. The moment we plan something, we have a pathway from the moment we start to the moment we finish. That pathway is essentially created out of all the small steps, which are the milestones to the end of the project. So just like in this video, I broke everything down. I thought how I'm going to introduce it. I thought how I'm going to personalize it so you, you can relate to it very quickly. And then I gave you the solution, which I've just given you now, which I'm also going to detail for your uh, clearer understanding. So essentially, you have a project. Make sure you plan how you're going to do it. Plan the start, plan the next step, plan the progress of it and reach a conclusion by a certain specific date, which is the finish. And then all you have to do is really work your plan. By planning it, you begin to basically break down the perceived difficulty of it because now it becomes a lot more tractable. By doing it, by working your plan, your confidence increases because the steps are small and they're doable. And if you do that, if you take that approach and you apply it to every project, every deadline, every presentation, every public speech, writing a book, whatever it is that you're actually doing, you will find that you can actually do it. I really hope this helps. Stay safe out there. Keep those questions coming in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Take care.